the Volkswagen Arteon caused quite a stir when it first hit Australian roads in 2017. Sales were modest, but the sleek sedan's mix of sharp design and powerful performance captured our collective imagination in a way only a few big cars could. But then, after only two years on sale, it quietly dropped out of VW's range. Changes to emissions testing regulations disrupted Australia's supply chain and streamlined Arteon disappeared from local showrooms. Until now, with supply restored in the best possible way in these uncertain times, the Arteon is not only back as a liftback sedan but is now also available as a wagon. This time it also effectively replaces the Passat sedan in the VW Aussie lineup, with the Passat only continuing as a wagon or all-track. The Arteon is now slightly more expensive than before, price has spiked compared to 2019, and is available in two trim levels in its two body styles. The range starts from, for the 140 TSI Elegance Lift Back Sedan, while the sportier 206 TSI R-Line Sedan, which adds a more powerful engine and guaranteed all-wheel drive, is priced from. Going for the wagon orders a premium over the sedan, with the model tested here being the most expensive in the 206 TSI R-Line shooting brake range. All prices before on-road fees. Like the body style, it has two engine options, a 140 kW, 320Nm2.0-liter turbo four-cylinder petrol at 140 TSI driving the front axle, or a higher output version of the same engine in 206 TSI all-wheel drive producing 206 kW, 400Nm. Both tracks are paired with a 7-speed automatic clutch which, while slick and fast-paced, still features a few flaws. But more on that later. Mileage may vary on how attractive the Arteon is to look at, but it's undeniable that it's one of those cars that stands out. And in a conspicuous group, these are the most widely presented wagons on the streets. The R-Line version gets a number of visual upgrades over the 140 TSI, including larger 20-inch, Nashville, alloy wheels, a sportier body kit with more aggressive front and rear bumpers, body-colored mirror caps, and faux twin exhaust outlets. In chrome, it features LED headlights at both ends and plays a key role in the Arteon's visual identity, with a distinctive light strip extending beneath the mustache-like headlights to meet under the central VW badge. The headlights also include matrix technology and are able to adjust their own height and cover oncoming traffic without having to descend into the low beam. Unusually for a wagon, choosing a shooting brake body style is primarily an aesthetic choice rather than a practical one. Despite the longer and higher roof, the massive 565-liter Arteon shooting brake boot offers only 2 liters of extra volume compared to the liftback sedan. That gap increases with the 1632L's folded rear seats playing the 1557L but in this case, the wagon certainly doesn't provide a distinctive boost in luggage space. Luckily both Arteon body styles put practicality first. This is a big, long car. Measuring 4,866 mm from bumper to bumper, the VW is about 80 mm longer than major rivals like the Peugeot 508 GT and BMW 4 Series Grand Coupe, and nearly 200 mm longer than the Audi A5 Sportback and Genesis G70 shooting brake. This means a greater sense of interior space, with the VW feeling roomy up front and almost majestic in the rear. Boot is also meticulously executed. With a low floor and deep loading space, it is ideal if you need to store longer items. The boot floor and sidewalls are also carpeted, which is a nice touch that helps prevent scratches and objects from slipping. Retractable parcel racks are also standard across the range, and the boots also offer two lights, twin bag hooks and an electric tailgate. The rear seat folds down 60 to 40 and the middle seat has a ski port if you need to transport very long items. Even better news is that hiding under the boot floor is a full-size backup. Top Marks, VW. Open the pillarless door to enter the Arteon and the first thing to notice is the highly supported R-Line sports seats. They are 14-way adjustable and offer excellent comfort and support, with the driver also getting a massage function and three memory settings for storing driving positions. One thing to note for the Aussie summer, however, is that while the front seats have a heating function, the R-Line models miss the seat ventilation offered as standard on the Arteon 140 TSI. 